Travelling, moving, commuting, transport is essential for everyone. It connects us to workplaces, schools, hospitals and businesses and moves goods all around the world. Reliable transport helps progress and opens opportunities, but this comes at a price. The sector produces over 16% of global greenhouse gas emissions. This is a challenge we must address. In a world of 8 billion people, with more than half of the population living in urban areas, we need low-carbon public transport that is safe for all passengers, like the Bangalore Metro, financed by the European Investment Bank. It's way more convenient considering the Bangalore traffic. And also it's just 18 rupees. Yeah. Otherwise it's like 150, 200 in the auto. In Ecuador, Quito's first metro line will transform the city, connecting north and south in half an hour and carrying 400,000 passengers a day. I think it will allow us to travel faster and more safely and be able to do the fluidity with more fluidity. Everyone is thinking that buying a car to mobilize more quickly. And I think that in rural areas, challenges are different. In this small town in Mato Grosso, Brazil, heavy rains frequently wipe out roads. Era uma rua, não tinha segurança, a caminhada, sabe? Buracos, poeira, terra. Hoje não. Hoje é o nosso bairro. Para mim, para mim é uma coisa. É um bairro que está sendo um bairro melhor de Mato Grosso do Sul. These projects are improving people's lives while reducing pollution. From 2017 to 2021, the European Investment Bank provided over 5 billion euros in sustainable mobility finance outside Europe. From seaports that bring small island states closer together, to new city bus networks that make life in metropolitan areas easy for people and businesses. The 21st century is rewriting the book on transport. We are making this new story a sustainable and green one.